YouTube, what is going on? This is XAlcoFiber, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a how-to video on how to hook up your neck, your Nighthawk, and install everything. So basically, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach the three antennas. So I've already done that and position it to where you want to. So I've already done that, so this video could go by quick. Next, you're going to want to go to your modem. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna you're gonna want to go to your modem and make sure that it is unplugged. Then you're gonna want to get the Ethernet cable that you're gonna connect to your router and hook it up. Go to the back of your modem and just hook it up, and then go to your router and hook it up through there as well. So after you hooked up. Uh, the Ethernet cable to your modem. You're gonna want to go back to your router and hook it up through the yellow Internet gigabit WAN port. Just let me just get that in there. There we go. All right. After that, you're gonna want to go to your modem again and turn it on. After you hooked up the Ethernet cable to your router, you're gonna want to go back to your modem and power it on by connecting the power supply and wait until all the little indicators are on so after you powered on the modem you're going to want to go back to your router and connect the little port into the uh, into the router and just give me a second guys Alright, after that, you're gonna wanna just turn it on, put in, turn the switch on, then all those little lights will turn on, and you're gonna wanna wait until that little power light is white. After that little power white, as you can see, is amber, that means it's starting up and everything. After the power light is on, you're gonna wanna connect an Ethernet to from your router to your to your laptop or you could just connect it wirelessly but for in this video I'm going to connect it to wire after the router is all connected and powered on and the power indicator is white you're going to want to for this video I'm going to be doing I'm going to be uh c installing it and connecting it to wired so I'm gonna inst uh, connect the Ethernet to one of the gigabit ports in the router and then just connect the other end to the laptop and after that we're gonna wanna go to the laptop and I'll show you guys what else you, got, you need to do okay so after you've done all that you hooked up your router and everything your, to your modem and everything you're gonna wanna go to your computer and you're gonna wanna see as you can see it shows that little um, thing to say the location you're gonna want to click home networking click close then you want to go to the network and connect to it I'm gonna be connecting to the router wi uh, wired so I don't really have to connect it wirelessly but you can because uh, the router is pre-configured when you when you get it so you don't have to set it up or anything to CD or anything like that so yeah then you're gonna want to go open the new tab as you can see it opens a tab automatically for the setup it is the Nekia Genie R7000 setup congratulations you are successfully connected to the internet as you can see it shows the SSID and password for both 2.4 and 5 GHz band then you want to click take me to the internet it opens a new tab and you type in the password and um, the username it is admin and password that is the default uh, as you can see it says congratulations you have a live internet connection it says night nighthawk smart Wi-Fi router features from and it says many cool features like Netgear Genie ready share vault advanced QoS and gigabit Wi-Fi alright so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm going to copy that same IP address 
So I'm going to type in 192.168.1.1. I'm going to click enter. And as you can see, I'm going to put in the username and password again. Default is admin and password. I'm going to remember my password and everything. I'm going to want to click continue. As you can see, it shows the Netgear Genie setup and everything on the Nighthawk. There's the home, there's the internet, there's many different features. As you can see on the top, it shows a new firmware update is available. So, yeah, that's really cool. New notification and everything. As you can see, there's many different features to your liking on how to set it up. On the wireless, as you can see, you can change the SSID name and the internet connection for both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. So that is really cool. As you can see, there's the attached devices. It will show the um, devices that are connected to it. As you can see, I only have Xbox, my laptop, connected to it. Then there's the parental control and it opens a new tab and it shows a little description about it. Then there's the ready share where USB storage, guest networking, and then there's the advanced tab for like those that like to do the little tweaks to the router, such as QoS setup. This is a really cool feature specifically for the Nike and Nighthawk because this is specifically for gaming. So there is two different QoS, there's the upstream and downstream for like HD and no lag or anything like that. And then there's many different features, security, administration, advanced setup. So yeah, I'm going to want to go to the home and it shows everything. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a comment if you want to. I will leave a description of my unboxing and yeah. So this is Axe Forever signing off and I will catch you guys in my next video.